Hi, everybody. So I'm back. I'm home. I'm in my little office and I'm going to talk about questions today. So I'm going to get into the emails and that's going to be my first video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The trip was amazing. I'm very like grateful for everything, all the people that I met and got to meet and talk to and um, visiting my family. The driving got a little bit overwhelming after a while. I think probably put about between four and 5,000 miles on my car, which is a lot. Um, but everything is really good. I'm very happy and I'm really happy and grateful to be home. So I want to get into these questions and feel free to ask questions at askhoneycgolden at gmail.com. So that's where you would ask a question and I will probably have it in the description. But I just want to get started with these because they're kind of piling up. And um, feel free to ask questions. I won't guarantee that all of them will be answered, but I will do my best. And um, we'll probably answer more when I go live with other people as well. And we're going to amp back up on the videos. So let's get started with the first one. Okay, so most people know this, but I get all my answers from my higher self. Now, at this point, most of our soul is downloaded into the body. So I'm asking my oversoul these questions. Now, Barbara has a question. Um, how do we start de-aging? So if you want to feel better right now, cleansing is what I would do. A lot of the purging that we're experiencing is programming, but also heavy metals and parasites. So cleansing the body is a really great way to start to anti-age and to feel better. You want to make sure that all your detox pathways are open. And I'm not a doctor. So if you have some really severe things going on, then I would go see a naturopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor. But that's what I would recommend to start the anti-aging journey. We are going to have med beds, but we need to do some of these things on our own as well. Like when the whole med bed thing happens, it will be also that we need to maintain. So we might as well start learning that now, how to take care of our physical body because it's changing and it's purging and it's doing a lot of stuff that is kind of overwhelming at times. And it's important to tune into it, pay attention to it, and, you know, go forward with taking care of it. Okay, and I will do a health update with Amelia soon. I think it's important to talk about the body and how to work on the body and heal it because it's our vehicle while we're here. Um, I want to talk about Marta had an experience where she actually fainted recently. and basically what happened is she's 68 years old. She lives in Virginia and she was gardening um, in the morning. And what happened is the sun was very hot and she started to feel weird. So she sat down and put her head between her legs just to kind of gain equilibrium back. It sounds like she was very woozy and she fainted three times. And she said she felt like she was looking through a doily or like fog with little holes in it. So a doily is like lace, if you don't know. <laughs> My mother loves doilies. Um, anyway, so basically she was feeling like that and she wants to know where that came from. Everything was normal except her oxygen levels were low. So to me, it's a timeline shift, but also one of her parallels was resolving itself. So I had a big parallel resolve itself and it was a deep shadow um, from my oversoul and I almost fell over. I was standing up and I almost fell over and it felt like everything had tipped. So like you're on a boat and all of a sudden you go up this huge wave. So really like when you're feeling like that, make sure you're hydrated for one thing. 
that helps our body get through these things. But also ask, is that shadow now integrated in my oversoul? Has it healed? Is it done? Because you don't want to experience it again. And a lot of times we're getting these notices from our oversoul because we're here. We're anchored here. So we can do a lot to heal these parallel lives. So you really want to think about, is it a parallel life that I'm experiencing? And what can I do for that? And really, you can just ask your soul to deal with it and ask your angels to help you. You don't have to get really intricate into it anymore. It's much easier than it used to be. So kind of think about those things and how you can help yourself through this process. We are experiencing a lot of physical things right now. We're working through a huge collective shadow right now. And that is putting a lot of us kind of in the drowsy, exhausted stage. So be kind to your body, I would say, just right now. Okay, so this is another great question from another Barbara. And she's asking... Are the NPCs gone? Yes and no. So I think that most of the robotic NPCs are gone. Remember, though, that you're creating your own reality. So some of the people that you see may actually be ETs looking like humans. Some are humans that only have their human consciousness. So they are not really a player in the game of life here. And in the game of ascension, they will be ascending, though, like eventually, whether they ascend in the body or not. And then um, what else? As you go through parallels. So let's say, oh, you had a big upgrade yesterday. All of a sudden, there's all of this nobody. Like, it's just empty. There's hardly any traffic. You don't see anybody in the normal places you would see them. That's, you know, has to do with upgrading and eventually it fills back in again. We're not at the point where we have no NPCs because we're not totally ready for that yet. We will get there though. And when we get there, it will feel like the population is very small, but we will feel like we can talk to anybody. We can have total communication. And we will also have ETs that we can see. So we will know that they're ETs. They will actually look different. So if you encounter somebody that's really um, socially awkward, maybe kind of acting slightly bizarre, they could very well be an ET. So keep those things in mind. Okay, so this one is from Steve. And like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just giving you intuitive device or advice. But um, he has a lympho lymph lipoma, which is like a squashy, people say it's a fat deposit. Um, and it, it ends up a lot with men I've noticed in their arms. Um, and you can also have it see um hang on one second you also can get them in other places a lot of people get them on their back but what i think they are is um parasites being encased by the body to keep you safe so i would probably do a parasite cleanse i would check into that make sure um that there's no mold in your body. There's no, you know, do some muscle testing. No mold, no um, yeast overgrowth, uh, viral overgrowth, and then parasitic overgrowth. And I would go ahead and do a cleanse, honestly. Um, DMSO comes in as something that would maybe help. But I would research that a little bit. And then also, you know, if you feel like it, I'd go see a naturopathic doctor. Everything in your body that you put on your skin. So everything you put on your skin 
gets into your bloodstream in 26 seconds. And DMSO is like really fast. I'm sure it's faster than that. So think about that. You could also mix it with peroxide and maybe put it there because parasites do not like um, oxygen. So just kind of think about some of those things. That's what I'm getting. It is a place where you had an injury in a past life. That's why it showed up so quickly. But like on the physical realm, I feel like it's, you know, has to do more with an interference from a parasite. That's what it feels like. So your body is protecting yourself from that. And yeah, so that's what I get about it. Um, I would resolve the parallel as well. So you can ask to make sure that the shadow has gone home and it is back with your oversoul as well. So that's another thing you can do to assist. Okay, so this is from Patricia and she wants to know, when I refer to ETs, are they members of the Galactic Federation of Light? Most of them are. Um, I feel like some ETs are not really associated with it and that's probably because they don't necessarily, they're not usually here. But all the ETs that I'm talking to are fifth density. So I'm not talking to any fourth density ETs. And I don't really feel like they're here anymore. So the fourth density is the chaotic, you know, or maybe um, they weren't in the highest good of humanity. Those kind of ETs, I don't see them or feel them anymore. So I'm just feeling the fifth density. But as far as like the ETs that I'm talking to, most of them are part of that federation. But I don't know if that is morphing. It feels like it's morphing and changing and upgrading as well. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm talking to the good guys. <laughs> so um, they're really, really excited right now too. And I will say yesterday as we drove, um, because we had to get my husband's car from the um, airport, there were so many ships. It was amazing how many ships were out yesterday. So they're getting closer and closer, which means we're rising and rising. If that makes sense. In our um, vibration. Okay, so this is a really good question. This is from Stacy. And her sister has received her special gift. So this is her strongest gift, I would say. Um, this past weekend, she receives information from the spirit side regarding our family history, the children, hospitals. She works in the hospital system, it sounds like. And what is going on in the world currently? 100% believes that her message is from the light. And it is. Her husband, however, thinks she is mentally unstable. I'm not sure what I can say to convince him otherwise, as he doesn't believe in God or Jesus. Any advice? So what I would tell him is think what you want. It doesn't matter what he thinks. And if you just say, think whatever you want, I don't believe she's unstable. And she doesn't believe she's unstable. So it's, you know, you can't convince him one way or the other, but if you basically tell him my perception is this, and I'm not going to try and convince you of anything, and you have to make your own choices, then he will actually think about it more. People who are really stuck, it's a trigger for him. So he doesn't believe in anything because he's afraid to. So if you just say, Believe what you want. I know what's true. And I know her heart is, you know, good. I know that information she's getting is good. And I agree with her. And I don't care what you think. That's probably the best thing to say to somebody that is, we don't need to convince anybody of anything. And if you state that, they'll usually let go. Um. That's kind of where I'm at with it. 
for him, you can talk to his soul and say, um, make him just let go of it, but it will take him a long time probably to come around. And he may have some kind of come to Jesus moment outside of the marriage, outside of, you know, the reality of the relationship. He'll probably notice something on his own and just maybe ask for that to happen, but don't try and convince it really doesn't work. It actually makes it worse, I think. Okay, so this question is from Kristen. And her dog passed away recently. And it was like an all of a sudden kind of thing. Like they realized that he wasn't feeling well. His heart was enlarged. And then all of a sudden he passed during a big solar flare. So what is he doing right now? this dog um he's really good he's gonna come back in so what i'm getting is throughout his lifetime him being very empathetic um he was transmuting a lot of things which affected his little body and his heart so he's already looking at other puppies to come back into so it's up to you, but he will want to come back to you. So I would look, you know, start looking around. Um, don't be intense about it. Let it kind of happen naturally because the universe will arrange for him to come back. He's not in a body yet, but he is looking. So try to be open-minded about what kind of dog you're going to be getting. Um, but I would feel free to get another dog because it will most likely be him. You will know. You'll feel it. And um, I feel like he's cut the agreements on transmuting everybody else's stuff. So he's not going to have that kind of body issue in the future. But it was just too much for this body that he had. So hopefully that helps, and I'm sorry that he's gone, but he's coming back. So, um, you know, it's up to you if you're ready to have another dog, but I would say he wants to see you again. Okay, so this is from Abby, and she wants to know what is going to happen with women's monthly cycles in the future. Um, and she was expressing how irritated she was with the Anunnaki for messing with it. Um, as far as her own stuff goes, I'm getting there's a mineral deficiency. So burdock root or copper comes in is really important. Um, so start thinking about that. Um, and probably a cleanse would be good. So, and I'm not a doctor, but I don't, I feel like your body is just lacking in something and that's why things are wonky for you. But as far as like, what is it going to look like in the future? I got that we would go to every six months, there would be a cycle for women. And then eventually it will only happen when they want to become pregnant. That's when the cycle will come in. So just think about that. Um, but I would definitely amp up the nutrition. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a picture that somebody sent me. Okay, so this is from Ulrica. I, I'm sorry if I'm messing your name up. So it, she's got two sons in here, which I think is really cool. So there's a big sun, which she said was absolutely enormous in the sky. You can see that there's some interference with some you know, stuff in the sky. I'm not going to say what, some trails. Um, and some frequency happened. And then this is another small sun that she was talking about. I feel like that's actually a sun that we don't normally see. It's not the old sun. Feels like a different one. And also this little blue thing, that's a reflection from your lens. So... I used to work in the cell phone industry and that is a reflection, but it is exciting. It's very bright. So 
Thank you so much for that. I think it's amazing. And it also, there's a, you can see that this little sun has a slightly different color, which is great. So that's very cool. Thank you. Okay, so we have some more pictures. These are amazing. Um, so let's see what they are. So this is a mathematical energy. It's similar to the grid is what I'm getting. Um, but it's it's creating a frequency. So basically you're seeing a frequency here. And this is really amazing. Um, what is the frequency? Change. So it's pushing change. So it was a frequency that was created. Um, ETs created this frequency. So that's really cool. And then she also sent, oops, maybe this way. There was 22 rings and it looked like a bright pulse. So she saw this as well. This is obviously at night. So, yeah, they are rings. This was um, portal. Someone was going through a portal. This is like from fifth to sixth density is what it feels like to me. Um, and a ship was going through that portal. So you're seeing all the little stops along the way, like the little, um, the gates. So these are different gates to go through. And they created this. This is almost like warp drive in Star Trek. That's what I'm getting. Um, so cool. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's a really, those are some really neat pictures. And so that came from Cindy. And now we're going to go ahead and look at another question. Okay, so the, um, where is it? The UK has been getting a lot of low temperatures and they haven't seen periwinkle for quite a while. So what's going on there? Um, is it possible that we are now as a planet on a ship? So I get note of that. We're not on a ship. Um, what's going on with the periwinkle skies? So somehow that's been adjusted. And there's some kind of grayness that's been, it has to do with the weather as well. It feels like ET stuff and Earth stuff together. You guys are in the middle of some kind of a climatic um, reset. So a climate reset over there. Um, the dampness, I feel like, is going to start to fade soon. And it's like they had to dial it up to dial it back down, which is weird. But that's what's coming in about it. So I wouldn't worry. It feels like it's going to be good. Um, your climate will become more sunny more often. And it will be similar to everybody else's, which is going to be basically um, like you're in a terrarium. But there's a lot of damp that had to be transmuted out of there. So that feels like what it came from. It's a little unclear, to be honest, but I don't feel like you're on a ship. And maybe it's unclear because it's not done. It's not completed yet. So interesting. Okay. So this question is from Jen. I just totally lost it for a second there. Um, so what's going on with women's health? So we're in the middle of cleansing a collective shadow and it has to do with women. It has to do with the womb and it has to do with creation. And I think that a lot of women have really gone through more purging than men so far. 
but men will get to deal with that longer. Um, this shadow is really huge. So it has to do with creation and we will probably be through it over this week, I would imagine. Um, but it will echo out for several weeks and it's about trusting each other, trusting other people to be a partnership with us. Women have been kind of not feeling too great about that. Um, and also just in general, women have been purging a ton and it shows up in different ways for women than it does for men. I think that we purge in a different way. So our bodies purge in a different way because our bodies are more complicated. So really what's been going on with women has been that. We also have another collective group of people deciding not to ascend. So another wave going through right now. So that's another part of it. And that feels like all the pieces. So just kind of, we have to just roll with it right now because we're in that ascension window and that window at this point, it was going to go until the end of 2027. I feel like it's actually narrowing because we're moving faster. So it looks like it may be the beginning of 2027 that the window closes. And that's when everybody has made their choice about whether or not they're going to ascend in their body. Okay, so I also want to show you guys her cat, which her daughter's named Honey. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, anyway, let me get that ready for you guys. This cat looks very aware to me. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, and her daughter's named her. But look at those eyes. Wow. A lot of knowledge there. So fun. Everything's so fun lately, you guys. And I know we're still kind of going through the purge, but don't feel like it's forever because it's not. And it's getting easier. And the really big shadows that have been hiding are coming up. And they're like the whole collective has a shadow that needs to be dealt with. One of them was not feeling as good as the person next to you, like feeling like there's differences, like, oh, they have a better gift than I do. Those shadow, that shadow has worked its way through. And now we're in the creative shadow. Um, and I feel like that's going to work its way through beautifully. But it definitely has created like some exhaustion for sure. Okay, so somebody's asking about the Terrence Howard video. So Terrence Howard was interviewed by Joe Rogan, and Terrence Howard is an actor. I don't feel like it's the same being, um, but yes, all that stuff matters that he's talking about. It's all very real, and it's some of the stuff that I've been talking about for a long time. So the magnetics, gravity doesn't really exist. You know, there's certain things in there that he's bringing up that I brought up, I don't know, two years ago, but he's patented all this stuff. And he is basically a grid worker. So he's a grid worker being, or the soul that's within him is a grid worker. He understands a lot of the ways that everything is happening. And I feel like he was speaking for that part of himself. So he's brilliant. The being that we are seeing in front of us during that interview is brilliant. So make sure that, you know, you look at his stuff. I would say it's very relevant for right now. And what is so amazing is how big the reach was on that video, how many millions of people watched it because it's so relevant to changing the way we think. So I would say that was divine intervention right there. And the grid worker or the builder of a reality knows how the mathematics work. And he is telling you the reality of mathematics. Mathematics was 
basically turned into something that was so dumbed down and then also so wrong in a lot of ways. Um, the basic math I feel like is usable here, but once you get into geometry and trigonometry and calculus and stuff, I don't know. It did not resonate with me and I, I just don't, I've never used it and it just doesn't work in my mind. And that something that complicated, it doesn't make sense to me. So unless somebody had already been doing that in a previous lifetime, they don't really get it that well. And I know that um, divine mathematics is completely different than what we've been taught here on earth. Okay, so Mike is asking about the I Ching, and I'll probably end with this one, but the I Ching is a divine language. So that's what I'm getting about it. It's like a, it was downloaded um, to a master from a builder and a creator. And it was probably their own soul. So their own soul downloaded all that information into their body and then it comes out. Like that's how a lot of stuff is happening and it always has been. It's really happening massively right now. Um, it, it was another part of like when the Jesus movement, like that part, the I Ching ties into all of that. So that came before, I think, I'm getting yes. So that came before that knowledge and then it was used again, but that's divine knowledge. So um, it will start to morph slightly because we're going into a new universe and the frequencies are slightly different. So when it's downloaded again, I feel like there'll be a few changes in there, but it is an amazing thing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm gonna try and get this out today because I really want to talk to you guys, ask questions at askhoneycgolden at gmail.com. Um, and I hope you guys have just like the most amazing day. And I'm so grateful to be home and to be talking to you guys again. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.